hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial of advanced excel um, and uh, today uh, we will see how we can extract from strings and we'll deal with lot of strings today and uh, multiple functions uh, before we proceed i i hope uh, you have liked uh, the previous tutorials uh, and it has been useful to you and um, this one's probably going to be a bit easier than the last ones so we'll see how we can extract characters or part of text uh, from a long string and uh, we'll use different formulas like uh, left right mid len and find uh, to do this uh, to carry out this uh, activities and uh, we'll also learn how to use this formula individually and and then combine them to achieve the uh, desired results uh, the main logic of uh, extraction would be to identify something unique within a string and, and then use it to extract the desired characters. So let's proceed to the examples to see how we can achieve this. So let us first understand the formula individually which will then be used in combination to do different types of extraction from the strings. Uh, now uh, the combination is an advanced excel uh, function that we'll learn uh, later but uh, it's important to understand the functions individually and i'm sure that many of you might already be aware of these functions but still i'll go through them one by one the left function picks desired number of characters from the left so if we write left and we select the text over here and we put three so it will pick three characters from the left of the string selected which will return spa so it's it picks three characters from the uh, left leftmost part of the string now right similarly does the same thing from the right side of the string so if we select um, this text and put six it will return the numbers from the right of six characters from the right of the string so it returns this number the mid function returns characters from middle of any string so if we see how it works a mid and we select the text and we put the start number from which we want to pick the characters so if i put two over here and after that how many characters we need to uh, pick so if i put four over here and you see it it returns o n s u which means that it starts from the second position of this text over here o and picks four characters o n s u so this is how mid works now len it's uh, simply a function which returns the total number of characters uh, in a string so if we put len over here and we select the text so it returns 17 which means that there are in total 17 characters in in this uh, cell over here b7 so it's a very powerful function uh, and it, it can be used um, in several ways another very important function is find um, and it returns a position of a particular character within a string so if there is something unique um, and you want to find uh, the position of that character within a string um, you, you can use this function and let's see how to use it so find we select the text uh, oh, sorry we select the we put the text we want to find so i want to find this hyphen over here and we want to find this within the text uh, over here in b8 and i want to start from the beginning of this string so you see that it returns the value 10 which means that the hyphen over here is in the 10th position uh, in the overall string so if we count um, the numbers uh, from here you can see that it's in the 10th position so again uh, this is a very powerful function find and uh, in combination of all this uh, we can perform various activities very useful analysis and very useful extractions from the string so now that we have uh, seen the individual uh, formulas um, uh, we can now see different uh, cases where uh, we want to extract uh, certain um, parts from the strings first i'll explain to you how we can pick up uh, from left till the first blank so what we want to achieve over here is find the first blank um, and and then pick all the characters before the first blank so this is sometimes very useful and let's see how um, we can do it so we 
we've used two functions over here left and find if you see the formula bar over here so first of all uh, the concept is that uh, we use uh, we find the blank in the whole string so it will return the position of the first blank and then minus one will return the number of characters we want to pick from the left so uh, pretty simple we'll use the formula evaluator to see how uh, we can uh, do this uh, we'll, we'll review with the uh, formula evaluator so so let us evaluate this formula uh, so it it selects the text over here next it will uh, perform the function of find so find you can see the underlined it will find the blank in the spare parts so you can see that it returns six which means that the position of the first blank uh, in the string is at the sixth position so i want to pick the first five characters so six minus one it will give five and then it picks uh, the five characters from the left so spare so this is how uh, uh, this function works and it's uh, you can you can pick up uh, the first um, all the characters from the first blank so uh, sometimes it's very useful uh, like if you have a name say john gupta and you want to extract only the first name and you simply copy this formula and you see that you have extracted the first name so um, this is just one simple example as to how you can use this let us now see another use um, of this combination of functions um, and um, now we'd like to pick up all the part numbers from the right um, of, of the text over here so if you see um, what's interesting is that uh, the length of the part number is not uh, unique so you cannot just use the right function um, on its own uh, you have five characters over here whereas you have four here and you have seven here so uh, we need to uh, do something different over here and um, through the formula evaluator i'll explain you how to do this but uh, before i do that uh, it's important to understand the concept so what the concept over here is to find the unique identifier and if you look at um, the text over here I can say that the unique uh, item in all of this is, is the hyphen. So I will use the position um, of the hyphen in this string uh, to manipulate uh, the formula of write. So let us see how we can do that. So as you can see in this formula, uh, we have used find uh, to find the hyphen uh, and then we have used len and we have used write. So let us open the evaluate formula. So you see uh, it's underlined as right. So it will first select the whole text. Then uh, it, it the formula goes to the length of uh, the cell V4. So it will give you the total number of characters uh, within um, this uh, text. So you see that there are total 19 characters uh, in, in the string in B4 and then it will now go and perform the find function so it will find uh, the hyphen within the uh, text so now you see that uh, the position of uh, the hyphen uh, in the text is 12 so it will fun perform it, it has returned 12 um, 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 from from the uh, string now it will perform the subtraction now why i have mentioned minus 2 over here uh, because if you look at um, the if you look at uh, the uh, text over here uh, once we return 7 we want to put it two two steps uh, before that so there is a space over here so we want to uh, subtract that so that we return only the number so that is why i've mentioned two over here and we evaluate it to five so now it becomes very simple wherein it will return the five characters from the right so you pick only the numbers and it's returned um, one two three four five so this is how uh, this function is uh, working 
so friends the aim of this video was to explain to you how we can uh, combine some simple formula to extract uh, from strings again uh, depending on the kind of data that you have uh, in real life uh, the formula might be different uh, from what I have shown you uh, based on the kind of extraction that you need to do but I have seen several uses of this um, in, in my corporate life wherein you have uh, certain extracts from ERP or some, some software and from that you need to make some analysis or extract some uh, data or text or anything so uh, depending on on the kind of work you do um, uh, you can uh, tweak the formula uh, if you understand the concept and uh, do these extractions so if you have liked this video please um, uh, like it and if you have any queries put it in the comments uh, also subscribe to my channel and have a great day um, and I'll come back with you with um, more tutorials.